Good morning, everybody. My name is Colleen, and my website is Cards by Coco, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I come to you from Kalama, Washington. So today, welcome to my craft room. It's November 21st, 2023, and this, um, this tutorial, video tutorial, is all about an easy card layout. Um, it's not so much about the product. It's just if you're making multiple cards, how to get that accomplished quickly. So I have two Christmas cards to show you and then I'm gonna swap it up and make a birthday card today. So um, stay with me and I'll flip the camera around and we will get started today. And hopefully this time around in this video, there won't be any bad words. I won't have to restart anything. The sound will work. I am all hoping that November starts off <laughs> maybe a little bit better than October when as far as these videos went. If you're watching, give me a shout out, say hello. Um, so I first saw this design um, from Kim Quady with Kim Plays With Paper. It's one of her go-tos and I'm going to share it with you today. So I made these two cards using the amazing um, sparkle of the season. Well, the Snowflake um, Snowflake Magic Designer Series paper. This is absolutely gorgeous. I have to take it out and just show it to you. And this paper is available right now. The entire suite is not available, and I apologize. I didn't look to see what part wasn't available. But let me show you this paper. I hope you can pick up really on the sparkle and shine just absolutely gorgeous. And for this one, I think I've used this paper before on my live videos. That's the Winter Meadow 12 by 12 inch. Oh, look, already crooked. Um, Winter Meadow Designer Series paper. So I thought these turned out beautiful. Actually, I made a card last year um, for my craft shows, and this was probably the most popular design that I sold. Um, it's easy. I think people just liked the tone, you know, the two tone and just the simplicity, easy to mail. So this was a very popular layout for me last year. Though now I have to tell you, I'm swapping things out today and we're going to be using the Fresh as a Daisy designer series paper. It is cold all of a sudden here in Kalama. I'm cold, though it's raining. <laughs> So I just have to tell you that I'm in the mood for some flowers. So we're going to take a break from our holiday designs. This is the Fresh of the Daisy. It's absolutely beautiful. It's 12 by 12 designer series paper. I'm showing you what I have left um, from a sample packet that I had. Uh, so many coordinating colors, so many. You are bound to have something in your craft room. And then look at the back side. So what I love about our designer series paper is we have the pattern side in the front. And then the back side is still patterned, but tends to be a little bit more, um, I hate to use the word basic, but kind of simple and easy to coordinate. Um, so I love that. Love, love, love that. So let me show you how easily this card comes together. We're actually going to cut paper together. Just do it all. That's the one nice thing when I do a simple card is we actually get to do some crafting together. So for those of you new to stamping, the Stampin' Up! Paper Trimmer has a cutting blade and a scoring blade. We're going to use the cutting blade now. And for our base, we're going to cut at seven and a half inches. Oh, and also our paper trimmer, trimmer has this arm that comes out, the expandable arm. So make sure you go ahead and use that. And we're gonna cut it seven and a half by five and a half. So I, you know, everyone cuts their paper a different way. Just you know, use it so you have the amount of scraps that you want left over. So, and then we're going to score this at three a quarter, three and a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to make sure I have my cutting blade out of the way. I'm going to turn this to the long side and measure at three and a quarter inch. And I'm going to bring in my scoring and just that easy. Now we're not done cutting paper yet. 
Um, I need a basic white panel, and we want that at four inches by five and a quarter. And so four inches here. We'll do all of our cutting, and then we will have some stamping by five and a quarter. So how is your first day of November? Are you getting gearing up for Thanksgiving already? Getting all of your projects done? Okay, and then I have this beautiful color here. So I had thought about putting this on wild wheat, but I have a ribbon I'm gonna tie in the wild wheat, but I really like this pretty peacock and it's not a color you've seen me use very often. So let's go ahead and give that a whirl. Then we wanna cut our designer series paper at three inches. So how do I want my flowers? I think I want them that way. Let's go three inches. I always will take a look at my pattern paper and see which way I think it flows well. And then by five and a quarter. So again, this is one of those very easy patterns that you can make a lot of your cards with. And, um, you know, just kind of kick them out. And then we want a coordinating piece of this at one and a quarter inch by five by a quarter. So I will tell you that yesterday I saw Kim um, cut her designer series paper in an inch and then she used to like a little quarter inch to add even yet another layer, which I thought was pretty cool. But I'm just gonna go ahead and go with the one and a quarter inch here and cut and then again at five and a quarter. So next week, we are going to do some sort of 3D project. I, I kind of taking just a little break from Christmas right now and Thanksgiving. And I thought, oh, I need some birthday cards. So we'll, I thought, oh, let's do that a little bit. And, um, but next week we are going to work on a 3D project together. So pretty excited about that. Okay, so. I just have a scrap of basic white. I have my Stampin' Pierce mat, and I am going to go ahead and grab my stamp set. And for this, I'm using the Circle Saying stamp set. Really just, I absolutely love this set. It's been one of my favorites. And I'm going to grab the Happy Birthday. Grab whatever Happy Birthday you have that will fit on the piece that you want to cut. Um, you know, put the design you want. Oh, let me grab a block here. I'm chit-chattering away and then forgot what I was doing. Okay, let's grab that. Take our little scrap of paper here. Let me grab my pretty peacock ink. So I absolutely love this color. It's, and I don't know why I don't use it more often. I am going to show you that on this particular card, I did some embossing with the silver absolutely think it looks beautiful. So if you are a person that really loves to emboss, um, that will absolutely dress up your card. My goal is to keep it simple today. So there's our happy birthday. You can stamp on your inside panel if you want, but I'm going to, again, just kind of leave it simple. Let me grab my little mini emboss machine, my cut and emboss machine. And for that, I need plate one, plate two, and then another two. So total of three plates here. I'm going to pop this down there and I just had them. Do you know that it took me forever this morning to find out what I did with my stylus shape size? I had set them aside somewhere. And I thought to myself, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to start, you know, start totally switching up my design <laughs> because I could not find them anywhere. And then lo and behold, they were in the most obvious of places. Isn't that always the way? So I'm just going to take a sticky note. Easy. I just um, want to show you how easy it is to make beautiful cards 
without spending hours and hours and hours of time. Now, I, I will say that sometimes with my very close friends and um, family, every now and then I'll just, you know, go all out. Well, you know, especially if I'm those cards that are maybe some fancy folds, uh, you know. But for the most part, I tend to I tend to be a simple stamper at heart anyway. So this is all I'm doing now is taking that one and a quarter inch piece that I cut and lining it up with our inside panel. Just gonna line this up like that. And that part is done. Now I did use my liquid adhesive for this part because I wanted to line up the edge here and I need a little bit of wiggle room. If you don't, I think you could use your stamp and seal. And this piece is going to fit in here. So let's go ahead and just, I have the seal plus here. So let's put this panel in. And pop that, just look for your, Normally I say look at the three, make sure you have it even because this will really, once it's down, it's down. <laughs> no going back. <laughs> okay, so there's that piece. And again, for this piece, I'm going to go ahead and I want the wiggle room, so I'm going to go ahead and use the multi-purpose glue. So I like this card because it has I just really like the images. I like how it matches um, and everything coordinates. And I think I've said this before, that's my favorite thing. In fact, I'm sure I've said it many, many, many times that um, one of my favorite things about Stampin' Up! actually is the color coordination because I myself am not great at color coordination. Okay, so I have this beautiful textured ribbon here. And I'm going to show you in the catalog where you can find this. It's three eighths of an inch. It's on page 143 in our annual catalog. You can see Wild Wheat, Copper Clay, Moody Mog, Boho Blue, and Pebble Path. So, and it's beautiful. They're $8 each, but um, cost aside, I just wanted you to know that they didn't all come in a package together. You, you had to buy them individually. So, pretty easy there, and I am going to just grab my seal again, put this on the back, and this is where I'm tying in that wild wheat color. And what did I do? Oh, here's my other card. I always look, when I like how I have the ribbon originally, I always go back and look. <laughs> do you all do that? Do you sometimes forget? You're like, oh, I really liked how I did that, and I wish I could remember how. So sometimes I just keep those samples pretty close by. So you can see all I did was loop, loop, loop. That's what the back looks like. And that's why I put down the seal. Let me grab my ribbon scissors. That's another hint for you. Try and keep your ribbon scissors separate from your regular scissors. And then I'll trim those edges a little bit better once I have it on. Let's grab some dimensionals and pop this down here. So let me know what you think about this card. I am going to do a, a like I said, either a fun fold or some sort of 3D project next week. So we're gonna step it up a little bit next week. Um, for those of you who are not aware, my new time to go live is no longer on Thursday mornings. It's Wednesday mornings at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Okay, let's center that. Let's move it over a little bit. Yeah. I'm happy with that. And then let's give this ribbon, these tails, just a little trim. There we go. And I have these beautiful, glossy, what are they called? The 2023-2025 in color dots. So when I get my, because, you know, I collect so much stuff, when I get my things, I always write on the back the colors. So I want to tie in, I think I want to bring in the Moody Mauve. I think the Wild Wheat, 
I don't know. What do you guys think? Wild Tweed or Moody Mauve? I'm kind of thinking Moody Mauve might be a little bit more subtle. So I'm going to go with Moody Mauve, but I do want to hear your opinion. And tell me if you think I should have went with the Wild Wheat. So I'm going to go with Moody Mauve. Not with... What color am I using here? I think that's Pebbled Path is the one I'm using. Yep, Pebble Path. That's the one I wanted. I kept saying Moody Mauve, but nope, I want the Pebble Path. There we go there. I'm going to put one there. And then I'm going to put one right there. So I think that is absolutely so pretty. And Pebble Path is actually coordinating color. So I think that one worked out great. So you can see just how easy it is and how quickly this one card came together and how you can change the whole look. So these are my two Christmas cards that I made. Make the season sparkle, use the same sentiment from the same stamp set. Um, and then today was a birthday card. So stick with your simple, your simple layout and have fun making some cards. And thanks again to Kim Quaid from Kim Plays with Paper for this fabulous design. Okay, everyone have a great day. I'll see you next Wednesday.